In today's episode, we're looking at Savita, which was really a, an amalgamation between Pro Seeds and Hendrix Seeds, and really what we're talking about is Identity Preserve Soybeans. And here we are in Inkerman, Ontario, and talking to James DePater uh, about Identity Preserve Soybeans that we as Canadians sell around the world, uh, primarily Japan, but more and more we're looking at Eastern Europe, we're starting to sell seed to those areas. So again, a Canadian farm-based set of uh, companies coming together to be one of the best in the world. This morning we're uh, here at our Inkerman export facility. It's one of seven facilities where Savita collects identity preserved soybeans uh, for processing for food grade export markets around the world. Uh, you see behind me here are our storage bins. Uh, each of these bins will take a an individual variety and store it under identity preserved conditions. All of our varieties are fully segregated and we have full traceability of our varieties from the grower all the way to the uh, customer wherever they are uh, around the world. On, on my right here is our scale house and our uh, test facility. We have a small lab at this facility each load that arrives to our facility is probed by the uh, robot here and a sample is sent into a small lab. So when we uh, receive our raw product of soya bean, uh, it could be a wagon or a, uh, a, I guess a tractor trailer full of 40 tons. Uh, we move our probe around and from there we'll pick uh, a various positions so that we get a good uh, representation sample of the uh, load that we're probing at this point. Uh, we aim to get about a three kilogram sample at different locations. As you can see, it's all controlled from indoors. And from there, it's just a vacuum that will suck up the soybeans from the bottom to the top and take it here to our station over to our right there. Once we're satisfied with our sample, then we will move on to do the testing that are required, which would be our moisture test, a protein test, and a genetically modified uh, test or GMO test. We are strictly a non-GMO facility, as all of our facilities are. We also do food grade tests here. We're looking at the quality of the beans. We're looking at the level of contamination. We're checking for staining. And then we're looking at the protein other food traits and the moisture of the beans. Uh, we're also matching up the delivery with our identity preserved contracts. Again, trying to maintain full traceability of every load that's received to this facility. Around two, three years ago, we, we recognized that we were producing many new soybean varieties, but we needed to add other parts to our value chain. We needed the ability to reach out to soybean growers across Canada in order to offer certified seed produced through our varieties. And that led us into discussions with a company called ProSeeds. And ProSeeds is owned by the Hart family in Woodstock, Ontario, another family business that was involved in soybean production. As we began to uh, talk between our companies, we realized that uh, we could create a full value chain which involved soybean genetics, the development of new soybean genetics, the production of certified seed, and then the sale and distribution of that certified seed to growers across Canada. And then the ability to contract back the acres produced from those certified seed sales back to our facilities in eastern and western Ontario, Quebec and PEI. So today we have a truly global company serving Japan, uh, several countries across Asia. We export to Africa uh, and to Europe. Savita International serves two distinct markets in terms of our products. Uh, our first product is our certified seed varieties, which are, are sold to farmers across Canada who plant these varieties under identity preserved conditions and contract these varieties back to us. The other market that we serve is the export market. So these are food processors around the world as well as here in Canada. Uh, these are companies who take our soybeans and transform them into a wide variety of food products. This is going to be our new uh, bulk loading system. There's three bins of 400 ton and uh, two bins of 600 ton. So they'll come 
up this conveyor belt and they'll drop into a scale so we'll weigh each uh, as we're loading the container we'll be able to put exactly 20 metric ton in after each container is uh, cleaned and packaged we keep a, a 2 kg sample of each uh, each container and we store it for uh, 16 months we're interested in expanding our business uh, in countries we currently serve we're entering into new markets in terms of new countries we've not exported to before and we're developing new product relationships so we're providing our product into markets that uh, you would classify as non-traditional or next generation product markets examples might be uh, nutraceutical products or health food products the research program is the future my name is Stacy Simpkin and I'm the research coordinator at Savita International uh, behind me is one of the pieces of equipment that we use. This is a color sorter. It takes soybeans and it separates the, the colorless ones from anything that has color. So it takes out stones and colorful beans so that we can have a clean sample to send our clients. It's a matter of being able to constantly provide innovation improvement to our growers. Farmers are running businesses and they have to make decisions that are best for their farm. This is where it houses the main source of our breeding program. Uh, we do also have uh, many off locations that we like to test to make sure that our varieties test well and perform well in different location and environments. This is a 33 acre field. We have up to 12,000 plots in this field alone, uh, up to 30,000 plots uh, throughout all of our locations. In the future, we'll, we imagine custom soybean lines customized to the individual needs of our buyers around the world. A buyer in Japan making a tofu may demand a certain type of soybean, whereas another buyer in Malaysia may need a completely different type of bean to make the same product. But they're using different recipes, they're serving different markets. So we see a very tailored approach to meeting the market demands. So in the future, we see um, very, very tight identity controlled uh, requirements around our product. And we see very tailored products to meet very specific needs in the marketplace. And that's the future of this business. Mm -hmm.